Are you embarrassed by having to answer nature's call while away from the comfort of your own toilet at home? Does it seem no matter how hard you try to cover any unpleasant smells, people always silently judge you and your stank? Well, worry not, Dr. Dookie, I've got you covered. Literally. Perhaps you've seen the commercials where that sassy English lady tells you about that product which will make it seem like you didn't stink up the bathroom after you dropped the kids off at the pool. That stuff ain't cheap and you'd be surprised just how easy it is to make your very own version at home. So today I'm going to show you how to make your very own DIY poopery spray. Here's what you're going to need. Essential oils. The scents that you choose are up to you. Let's face it, anything is going to be better than the smell we're trying to cover up. I'm using peppermint and rosemary. Vegetable glycerin. If you don't have any already, don't worry. You can find it at most health food stores and of course you can order it online. Rubbing alcohol, a perennial favorite here around the CMS HQ. Food coloring. This one is optional, but it comes in handy when you're spraying the mixture into a toilet. That way you can see what kind of coverage you're getting. And finally, some simple H2O. We're going to mix these up in very small batches for two reasons. First, the mixture can become less effective over time, which is why less is better. And secondly, let's be honest, who wants to schlep a big old bottle of poo spray around with them? We're going to mix a half cup of water along with two tablespoons of rubbing alcohol and three tablespoons of vegetable glycerin. And now for the really important part, I'm going to be adding 40 drops of essential oil. For this combination, I'm using 20 drops of peppermint, 20 drops of rosemary, but you do what you like. And then you wanna use a dark food coloring, ideally green or blue, and you wanna put several drops, like maybe 10 or 12. Then just give the bottle a good shake. And now you're good to go, literally. To use the spray, simply spray it into the toilet before you sit down and make sure there's a nice, even greasy coating across the entire surface of the water. That's why you're using the food coloring. It'll let you know when you're all covered. The secret to how this stuff works is actually pretty cool. Here, let me show you. Imagine this is your toilet bowl. Just bear with me. The essential oils, vegetable glycerin, and rubbing alcohol create a wonderful, smelly layer of oily goodness, which simply rests atop the water in the toilet, and then when your deposit drops through, it gets trapped under this oily layer, along with all the unpleasant smells of said deposit. Science. So there you go, my friends. All right, well, there you go. The next time you're at a house party or at the office and then there's that one tiny bathroom that 14 people have to share, worry not because even when you have to battle the fudge dragon, you now know you can leave the bathroom with no stinky evidence behind. This week's comment question is, what other awkward smells would you like us to tackle? Let me know in the comments down below. If you wanna see what I'm up to during the week, you can follow me on Instagram. There's a lot more to me than whipping up poo spray. I'm at Melissa Maker, the guy who has built his career filming toilets. He is at the Chad Reynolds, and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video, and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Well, it's that special time of the week where I get to throw you to some interesting videos I think you're going to love. Because this is a DIY cleaner video, I thought I would put your attention right over here to our 31 days of DIY cleaner series. You can see the first one and all of them by clicking right over there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can click some button that will get our videos into your YouTube feed each and every week. Thanks guys, and we'll see you next time.